India is in the middle of a supercomputing revolution. That's right. While the world talks about AI, quantum computing and a lot more, India has been quietly revolutionizing supercomputing. And the name leading this charge, Param 10,000. This is not just one supercomputer. With Param Rudra, Arka and Arunika, India is powering research in physics, earth sciences, climate modeling, AI of course, and a lot, lot more. But why does this matter? How does this redefine India's future? And can India compete with the likes of US and China? Let's break it down for you. We have to rewind a little bit. The story of Param began in 1991 when India built Param 8000, our first indigenous supercomputer developed by CDAC. This was the time when supercomputing was dominated by the West and India was denied access to global technology. But India didn't back down. Param Siddhi AI in 2020 and now in 2024, we have launched Param 10,000 and Param Rudra, marking India's dominance in high performance computing. But why do Param 10,000 and Param Rudra matter and matter so much? Let me elaborate it for you. Petaflop Plus and computing power. That's over a quadrillion calculations just per second. Critical for AI and big data, AI and deep learning acceleration. Supercomputers now train massive AI models at record speeds. Hyper accurate climate and weather forecasting. Param Rudra is built for extreme weather predictions, helping with monsoon, cyclones, and disaster management as well. It can boost scientific research from physics and space exploration to genomics and drug discovery as well. And of course, industries and innovation, automobile crash simulations, semiconductor research, and even next gen defense tech rely on Param's computing power. Prime Minister Narendra Modi himself dedicated three Param Rudra supercomputers to the nation, emphasizing India's commitment to research, innovation, and self-reliance. Here's where it gets interesting. China's Sunway Taihu Light and US's Frontier dominate global supercomputing. But now, with Param Siddhi AI and Param 10,000, India is closing the gap. India is now among the top 50 supercomputing nations, with CDAC and NSM, that is National Supercomputing Mission, rolling out 70 plus supercomputers across, say, research labs, startups, industries as well. But here's what's next. The National Quantum Mission. India is gearing up for quantum computing to revolutionize AI and cryptography. Semiconductor manufacturing boom. India's Shakti, Vega and Semiconductor Fabs will make sure that we never have to depend on imports again. Industry 4.0 and Smart Cities. Supercomputers will optimize things like traffic, energy consumption and even urban planning. Supercomputers are not just machines, they are the engines of innovation. From better healthcare to cutting-edge space exploration and a much stronger digital economy, Param is fueling India's rise in the global tech landscape. The world is watching and we Indians and India are just getting started. What do you think? Can India truly dominate supercomputing in the next decade? Let us know in the comments below. Make the answers long, detailed. We want to know and we'll reply as well. For more such stories just like this, don't forget to subscribe to AIM Media House because we bring you the real-time live updates from the world of tech and the world of AI. Because think AI, think AIM.